With New York and most of the East in the grip of a heavy fog, things are dark and dismal at Yankee Stadium with floodlights trying to pierce the fog as the Giants meet the Cleveland Browns. The New Yorkers look good early in the game behind quarterback Y.A. Tittle, who moves the ball within striking distance. Tittle again with a seven-yarder to Dick James that gives the Giants a 7-3 lead, which doesn't last long. Quarterback Frank Ryan gets Cleveland rolling midway in the second quarter as he carries from the 12-yard line and just gets across before fumbling. Scott falls on the ball for the Giants, but the referee rules it's a Browns touchdown, and that almost sets off a rhubarb. Keep your eye on number 21. That's Alan Webb. And it takes a lot of persuasion from teammate Erich Barnes to keep him from mixing it up. Frank Ryan completes 12 of 13 passes for Cleveland. This one to Paul Warfield brings the ball to the one yard line. Then Ryan to Ernie Green, and Cleveland is well on the way to capturing the Eastern Conference title. That Ryan is a dynamo at quarterback. Here's a handoff that sends Ernie Green through a hole, and that sets it up for another of those famous Ryan passes. This one to Jim Brown means still another Cleveland touchdown. Gary Wood comes in for Tittle. And he drives the Giants in the last minutes. It's a losing cause, but he keeps plugging. A pass to Joe Morrison brings the ball to the 10-yard line. Wood is out to chalk up one final Giant score, but he has trouble spotting receivers in the Merck. A sideline pass looks incomplete, but the flag goes down. It's called good. One final play. It's a pass to Aaron Thomas as the fans overrun the field. There was supposed to be a try for the extra point, but the officials throw up their hands and call it a day. A bad day for the Giants who finished their worst season in 29 years. The Cleveland victory, 52 to 20, brings the Browns into the playoff game against the Baltimore Colts. As for the Giants, well, there's always next year. <laughs>